Anyways, game one starting off, uh, Riddlestone and Fox. This isn't the greatest matchup for Fox because of Lucina's range. Um, I was talking to Commander of earlier, not earlier, um, a couple of weeks ago from RGV2. One time he played um, Hex Manuals Lucina, and even though he feel well, at least he was saying that his Fox, like, as a player, he was on a different level. The Lucina was still able to put up, a, like, a really good fight because of her range and because of how she can stuff out a lot of Fox's approaches. Overall, it seems like Mana Jace is the lead, and that's all he has to do with Lucina's aerial drift and whatnot. He can just keep it. But it all depends. This is Battlefield. It all depends on how well um, Riddles can capitalize on the combos that he does get. He, you saw him got that. You saw him get some up tilt earlier, but he didn't really do much for them aside from shield and then got grabbed the Manic Jace. It's not a reset. Too high of a percent. Hey, don't make fun of me. I know I'm stuttering. Not stuttering. That's way too low. Unfortunate. Fox's false feet just kind of does that. Now, I would like to see Riddles get get um, Manic Jace up in the air way more because. A lot of the time, like, Lucina doesn't really have a lot of really solid landing options. So once you have her in the air, she has to air dodge. She doesn't have anything to contest you with. So I would like to see more up tilts or like that down tilts that will get Lucina in the air and that will get him into juggle positions that might get him either a lot of percent or the stock. And since Lucina is going to have to air dodge or have to jump away from those things, once you know she doesn't have a jump, you can read the air dodge with an up B and seal the stock pretty early. The down throw not much of this, although if he lands with the platform like that, he's got to watch out. Fox is a really fast character. Can really capitalize on, on those situations. Now we're getting to the point where Fox is going to start struggling to kill because the up tilt doesn't 50-50 into the up air anymore and the nair doesn't combo into up smash. So if Manek Jace is able to just shield and continue to get grabbed, once he gets past that percent, he should live until like almost 170, like maybe 200%. That's just kind of what happens to Fox until up tilt kills or anything else. You can see Riddle's getting a little bit flustered here, although when he's playing Fox, he's got to realize that he can't do that. Like, if they get past the percent, then just do up tilts and whatnot. Wow, that was really questionable. Yeah, fourth throw almost killing Max Rage Lucina. Did he taunt? gotta find something to kill. Fourth throw is not gonna do it. He can't really up to... Okay, that's a really good runoff there. That's a stock, finally. He can't let this lead get in, into his head, the lead that Manic Jace has, because easily with one error, a couple of up tilts, then he can get into a juggle situation. And because this is Battlefield, and because Lucina doesn't really have a lot of landing options, and he should be able to get a lot of damage. So here we go. Up tilts. What's he gonna convert these into? Lance right in front of him. Great awareness, knowing to jab. Or shield, I mean. And now the game's pretty much back to even. Manic Jace really has to watch out at this ledge. Riddle so far this tournament has had pretty good ledge coverage. That might be it and just brings it right back. Okay, you can see a smirk on his face. He's pretty happy about it. Manic Jace has to keep his composure as long as he keeps playing his game. And the main thing is staying grounded. Because if he doesn't stay grounded, then this happens. And you find yourself in platforms and you take about 40 or 50% just from Fox up airs. Which... Roger just really has been getting down so far. Ooh, okay. I like the attempt, although he might want to just keep playing neutral game if he has his lead instead of trying to go for the uh, easy and fast stock to seal. Hello, what's Minek Jace going to do about this? Let's him get back on. Tries to go for the ledge jump. Great buffer on the jump. Okay. Got caught. Trying to fly a little too high there. I don't know how the up smash came out. I would have... Like, it would have been reasonable, it would have been a jab or whatnot, but up smash? I mean, whatever works. Questionable backer there, letting him back on stage. Riddles is in the position where he still can't get some juggles to seal the stock, but that's not to say Maniac Jace can't just keep Fox up in the air with her tilt. Okay, Maniac Jace needs to win these neutral exchanges if he wants to get right back into his... I like the perfect pivots, but they don't seem to be doing much for him besides losing the stage control. Ooh, unfortunate. Misses the hit to the back of the up air. He really wanted a, that there. Yeah. My apologies for that. Yeah. 
I didn't notice Laz was here. And Laz, you changed your Twitch name. That's cool. Maniac Jace has pretty much brought this right back. And F smash at the ledge, um, trying to punish Fox's recovery, will easily do this. Riddles really has to keep his composure here because an up tilt will 50 50 into an up air at this percent. Or Nair to up smash or Drill to up smash. He's getting a bit too greedy here. Manic Jace not confident enough to punish it right away. Great jump away in air dodging. Trying to get Rab back on stage. Forward throw. Okay, now Manic Jace really get into that percent where he's going to struggle to kill and mm, gets the semi stage bike. And that is it. That it was. The first and only time I saw Maniac Chase contest Riddles offstage, and the first and only time it paid off, and the last time that set. I mean, not that set, that game. Not to say he's not going to do it again. Riddles still has Battlefield, though. Um, he's going to be able to go back to the stage. Ghost facing himself out. No punish on it. Just deciding to keep his stage control. Great shielding. Yep, Lucina really doesn't have a lot of valid landing options that can contest Fox really well. Nothing that he can't just shield. I like these short hops there. Jace is really trying to contest them with short hop forward airs, but Roger seems to be able to land um, faster and put up a shield faster than Jace can punish them. Don't know about those two rollbacks there. He might just really want to be taken back center stage. Manek Jace should be capitalizing on that pretty soon. Here we see Beef really enjoying the the view. Look at him, dude. He's like watching a movie. I think in our hearts, Beef won. Yeah, you see, he nods his head. He knows. Okay, this a juggle situation. I would have liked to see him get under Lucina more. Once you get under Lucina and you get into that little sweet spot of hers where she can't really forward her or nair you, then that's when you can get the most damage. And, oh, gosh. And... Roger doesn't seem to be doing that as often as he should. Now, this is just my opinion, but I think that color of Lucina is really ugly. I don't like it. I like the one with dark hair. She looks confident. I know they all stand for like characters in the games, but I could care less about that, honestly. Dude, you have Twitter night mode. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, let's go. That's the first stock taken by Maniac Jace here. Um, this is still a good percent for Roger. He can drill up smash and up to up air, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be going for drills here or Nair off stage. A little bit late on the punish there. Yeah, up tilt's not going to combo in or anything. He's going to really have to contest them in different ways if he wants to steal the stock. Manic Jace is going to be really happy to just continue to build up his lead. One thing Jace could do instead of just overcommitting to these things, he could just sit and shield. Misses the jump cancel. Like, if Manic Jace just sits and shield, there really isn't much Riddles can do. Besides, like, pressure him with back air, but that's nothing he can't just roll away from. And then, I mean, if he grabs him, what's he going to do? Kill you? Wow, just... Airing away with this lead, Manic Jace. Looking pretty dominant. Great read there. Um, we saw this situation before. Bredos was able to bring it back. If he's able to do the same thing, then we might be seeing a game three. If not, Manic Jace will take this 2-0 in a handshake happily. Yeah, I don't blame him for trying to go for, I guess you could say, cheese at this point. Because he is at a pretty bad deficit. I don't know about that up. Yep, he's going to take a punish for that, although... Riddle's really not optimizing it as well as he should. Speaking of optimization, those are three uppers. Tech away, he's been doing that pretty often. Mane Jace is catching on to them, but Lucina just isn't fast enough to get to the other side as quickly. Great pressure there. I like how he's moving. He's he's keeping the move. He's keeping Mane Jace guessing. If he would have kept doing that, he would have probably been able to keep him at the ledge longer. You don't want to be telegraphed in what you're going to do to keep your opponent at the edge. You want to do what he was doing at this point and keep moving around, keeping him guessing. There you go. That was a really good punish by Riddles. Not having any of that first hit error combos. It's 
some nice back air. This should be some damage. Oh, manages to fare right out of it. This time, Real is not shielding. Yep. That was coming sooner or later, honestly. He had hit the shield breaker on his shield quite a lot of times. Who's going to be on stream next? 